This story takes place in South Africa, my home country. It happened last year during July, right after I turned 18. I had a three-week holiday before I had to go back to school, and my sister decided to take me and a few friends to KwaZulu-Natal for a trip to a mountain range. It was me, my sister called Kate, and my three friends, Ashley, May, and Hannah. The last place we visited before we went to the cold mountain range was called Izandwana, where the Shaka Zulu army fought Britain with many fatalities. We got to the place at around midnight since there was no security. So we decided to explore the grounds and look at the thousands of graves placed around the land. It wasn't until after I asked to give it a rest and find a place to stay for the night that my sister pulled a box out of her bag. It was the infamous Ouija board. We used to believe in the paranormal side of the world, so all five of us decided to play. I mean, it was such a perfect place to do it. So we sat down by one of the bigger graves and started playing. But the board wasn't really doing anything until my sister lost her temper and took her fingers off. The key started moving around in short circles before going over the letters and spelling out R-U-N-T-H-E-Y-A-R-E-H-E-R-E. Run. They are here. At first, we were all kind of laughing. We weren't really scared because we'd had a crap ton of alcohol before playing the game and thought it was one of the girls doing it. However, all of a sudden, Ashley stood up, cried out in pain, and she claimed something was stabbing her. Help! Help me! She screamed, so we immediately stopped playing and went to help her. When she lifted up her shirt, we could see a long and deep scratch that went from where her heart is down to her stomach. We were all shocked, so we left the place in a hurry since the nearest clinic was over an hour away. When we arrived, our situation only got worse considering we were a group of white girls who only knew how to speak English and a bit of Dutch, while everyone inside of the clinic was a Zulu native and didn't know any English. We couldn't get my friend any help, since neither we nor the nurses understood each other until we lifted up my friend's shirt to show them the wound. We felt so stuffy and eventually one nurse sterilized her and bandaged her up. However, surprisingly, the next morning when we woke up inside of my sister's van, she was no longer wounded and it was as if the event didn't even happen. Someone later told us that it might be a Zulu trademark to cut their enemies' hearts from their gut in respect of the body they had killed, preparing them for the afterlife. But who knows? Now, over a year later, none of us truly know what happened. I go to university and they are still my only friends. The memory becomes more and more distant over time, and I sometimes believe that we all just hallucinated. But the one thing for sure is that I will never, ever touch the Ouija board again. Delivery drivers are really excited to drop off packages at this house. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tiffany Judd is a busy mom of two and does all of her Christmas shopping online. And since Santa gets snacks when he brings gifts, she thought her UPS and postal workers should get some too. So she leaves out treats for them. A little treat that seems to have gone a long way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. He'll certainly be excited when more of Tiffany's orders come in. <laughs> 